What is going on guys, it is Michael and I am back with another figure review and today uh, I've started finally pulling figures off my shelf that aren't necessarily as new as some of the other ones uh, and I'm taking a look at them and we're going to be looking at uh, my more recent figures that I've gotten being the uh, the Deadpool and the Wolverine but uh, today the Wolverine in particular we're going to move Deadpool off to the side and uh, you know I want to make a point because I always feel like I say I it's fantastic about every figure I get and every figure I've reviewed so far. You know, I don't buy figures to complete collections or waves. I'm not collections, to complete waves. I will buy a figure in order to fit into a uh, into a set that I have. Like if I buy um, a Gamora figure for uh, my MCU shelf, you know, I don't necessarily par particularly want the Gamora figure. Uh, I want to complete a set, but with the Wolverine figure, I bought this guy because he just looked amazing. He looked great. He, I knew he would match with the Deadpool figure, um, but, uh, you know, as you can see, he's fantastic looking. He's great size and everything, too. Uh, he's part of the the Wendigo uh, Build-A-Figure, and you can see the head comes with the head. The head. And the other figures in that wave, uh, oof, Lord have mercy. Here's the back of the box. You can see the other figures in the wave. You got Wolverine. You got Cannonball. You got Boom Boom. You got Guardian. Uh, Nightcrawler. And then Mr. Sinister. These are probably the only two other figures I'm going to get from this entire wave. You know, I don't really have any interest in in, uh, in Cannonball. Mainly because Cannonball's half a figure. Um, I really don't care about Guardian. But uh, I'll probably end up getting these two. Him, because I want him to go on my X-Men shelf. And probably the same for him. But, um... He doesn't actually, uh, this Wolverine figure doesn't actually fit on my X-Men shelf. Uh, he kind of is his own separate thing with Deadpool. But I am going to get the Deathlock figure to uh, to kind of uh, help out with um, with who's up there. But alright, let's take a look at Wolverine. And, uh, you know, first thing you'll notice is that uh, he's small. And that's good. This figure needs to be small. I mean, this is Deadpool. is a normal 6-inch figure. And here's Wolverine compared to him, you know. Now, Wolverine needs to be small. He's a short guy. He's not, you know, he's not this gigantic, like, beast that Hugh Jackman is. He's a, he's a smaller guy. He's, you know, he's a beast. Um, let's take a closer look at him. I gotta say, he doesn't come with any accessories, which is kind of a bummer. I really wish he had come with uh, maybe a different head. I feel like with uh, with Wolverine figures, we need, we need a different head. Because we need a, a normal, just fine head like this, and I need an angry face. Because I need an angry face to pose him in. You know, if you're going to be Wolverine, you need to be an angry face. And I also, I do want to make the note on the claws real quick before we start talking about everything. I don't know if they come out or not. Uh, I'm terrified to try it. I believe they do, though. But I'm always nervous to try and get these things out, so I, I'm not going to I'm not gonna mess with it. Um, I will say right off the bat, though... Um, I, again, the last X, the last, uh, Wolverine figure I've had was, like, a Weapon X Wolverine figure years ago, and they, that was when the, they used the really rubber, not rubber, but the really bendable plastic, uh, uh, claws, which sucked, because they would come out of the box all messed up, and they'd get bent and everything. I like these much more, they're this very nice, like, smaller, uh, kind of harder plastic. You know, they can move around if they need to, and they can bend a little bit if they need to, but they're not, like, bendable wires like we usually see. Um, and uh, I really like that. I really think it's awesome. I think it's really cool. But, uh, all right, let's get into uh, how he looks, the sculpting on him. I'm going to straighten him out a little bit so we can see more about him. Let's take a look at, uh, how, at how Wolverine looks, and i got to say... They did a great job with the paint on this. The sculpting's also really good. Uh, I think they're nailing it with these uh, the sculpting on these figures, man. Just the muscles. I, now, I don't know. I believe this is a repaint of the figure that came out uh, a couple waves before this, the uh, the yellow and blue suit. Uh, but uh, nonetheless, you know, it's a good repaint. I really like it. Uh, I think uh, the eyes came out really, really nice. Um, just the painting all up here. Like the ears came out. You can see, careful with your, your figure, though, because he the, the plastic's all messed up right here. Actually, I can, like, yep, yeah, it's coming right off. Let me try it. Looks a little bit better, but you can see the, you can see that kind of, that gray paint. I think, um, I think maybe the gray, I don't know, that's weird. I don't like how I can see that, but, uh, you know, it tends to happen with figures, but, um, head looks great. The chest looks, uh, again, it's got, like, a 12-pack going on. Uh, really like how the skin tone looks. I really like it in contrast to the the black and the gray on this. Um, I don't know if you can notice right there, but there's a little bit of paint splotching right here. It's uh, messed up a little bit. 
that's all right. It's uh, hardly noticeable, and again, it, it it's uh, bound to happen on figures. So back looks really nice. I like the hairs. I don't know if I already mentioned that, but I really like the hairs here. The belt looks, came, out belt, uh, came out really nice. I'm glad that they give us these belts that move around. It's so much better for when you're posing them. Uh, the legs look really nice. Uh, the gloves look awesome. I like these straps on them. They're like straps. Uh, I, I really wish um, the claws actually... Let's see if I can... I really wish they'd do something different with these claws. You know, I really wish uh, they were a little bit better. Different, Maybe different painting, like a more reflective paint. Maybe more like a metallic look. I think that would be a lot better. Um, but uh, I'm not complaining. I uh, just, you know, missed out on some things. But, uh, you know, still looks great. Uh, again... Just the muscles going down his leg. Uh, the boots came out really nice. I like all the straps here. All the design. Little cuts. Little crevices. Made in China, obviously. I mean, overall, a great figure. Uh, posability. He can only look up about that much. And he looks down about that much. Of course, turns, turns side to side. Uh, arms got about that much. I'd say about 90 degrees. Go forward, 360, upper bicep swivel, butterfly joint, which I love. Absolutely love butterfly joints. He kind of needs it for some of the poses he's in because he's a you know, more agile figure. Um, wrist, go, the wrist, uh, wrist hinge right here. So you want to get those cool poses with those claws. And, of course, wrist moves around. Then he's got a uh, crunch is about that much. Goes back about that much. So again, some good posability. Um, be careful with uh, the waist joint right here. You want to lift the belt so you can turn them. Because if you don't lift that belt, it gets caught on it. But make sure you lift that belt. Uh, the uh, legs kick about that much. Leg actually, the leg articulation is not as good as I thought it was going to be. It only kicks about, kicks back about that much. But obviously, you can extend it with uh, turning the legs. But kicks out about that much. You got an upper thigh joint right here. You got double jointed knees. You got an ankle joint right here. And then boom, ankle pivot. And you know, I, I take a look at this figure. Every time I have him in my hands, I, you know, and, and I wonder why, I wonder for a second why, uh, why he's so fun to mess around with, why he's so fun to pose, because he absolutely is. You know, he, he's absolutely fun and absolutely amazing to pose around with, and I'm really glad to have him. Because um, I think he looks great standing next to Deadpool. I really like having them on the uh, on the same shelf. They're on my X-Men shelf. They're on their little section. They're on the little corner, though. But uh, I really want to get Deathlock. I think if I get Deathlock, I'll review them and have them in the collection. But looking great. Uh, next figure will probably be uh, Deadpool. I want to get the X-Force out of the way. Um, and then move on to... Uh, I might do some of my Star Wars figures. Or I, I might even... Um, probably should review Gambit as well because uh, I showed him off in a couple videos I want to get Gambit out of the way and then I might start tackling my uh, my MCU shelf because I, I have a, a good bit of uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe uh, figures so but uh, yeah you know amazing figure uh, if you definitely see him pick him up 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 I think you absolutely need to it's 20 bucks man like like I know uh, you know for an action figure 20 bucks is yeah oh uh, no 20 bucks but He's such a great figure. You, it's such a bang for your buck. He's so posable. He's so fun to mess around with. He looks cool. He can be on a shelf by himself if you really want him to. You can replace him on shelves. He's just, he's awesome. I think you guys should get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful night, and I'll see you on the next one, all right? Peace.